Hey guys, it's John and welcome, welcome back to my channel. So this week's video is going to be an updated book haul. I haven't done a book haul or even just a booktube video in a while, so I thought I would share with you guys the new books that I have that I got in the time from after my last book haul to now. So if you guys haven't seen my last book haul, it was in April, so in quarantine, and that was when I was really starting to collect books again, and I'll link that video down below. But since then, I've bought some new books and been given some new books. And so we're just going to go over what they are. So I have eight new books to show you guys. So let's just jump right into it. So there's not really any order I'm going to go in. Um, I just have a stack that I pulled from my shelf. And I'm just going to take a book and show you guys. So I'm going to try to tell you what all these books are about. But some of them I haven't read or I don't even know what they're about, so bear with me. But the first book is A Curse Dark as Gold by Elizabeth C. Bunze. And this book I actually got from my cousin and I don't know what it's about. I never really heard of this book until she gave it to me. But I think it's a fantasy book. Based on the vibe of this book, I think it's a fantasy book. But I'll update you guys on Instagram or on here when I finish reading this or get to reading this and let you know what it's about. So the next book I have is another Colleen Hoover book. It is Confess and this cover is so gorgeous. I think I got this, I'm trying to think, from Target. Uh, I was really wanting to look for more Colleen Hoover books after reading It Ends With Us. And I, so I picked this up and some other ones. And I'm starting to really love Colleen Hoover's books, and she's becoming slowly becoming one of my favorite authors. But Confess is about this girl named Auburn, who is kind of a struggling hair salonist, and and she just is really struggling money wise, and just trying to figure out how to pay her bills and all that. And one day she's walking, and she passes this building, and it has a bunch of confessions on the wall and it has a slot for you to put confessions in and it's, it says help wanted and so she goes in and then meets the guy who owns the building and was in charge of putting all those confessions up and things kind of just go from there and he's an artist his name is Owen basically she meets this guy and helps him out with his art gallery and then Boom. A lot kind of happens. There's just a lot of confessing going around and not confessing. And it's honestly a really good book. And I love this because it has, like, actual art inside of it. Which is really nice and cool. And it's so good. This is my favorite page. But yeah, anyways. Pick this up if you love Colleen Hoover. If you love contemporaries or just romance. All of her books are romance with some sort of different element. This one, so, I really, really suggest you pick this up. I'm sorry, that was kind of a bad explanation, but like, I think you got it. If you don't, you can just pick it up or read the synopsis on online. <laughs> so since we are talking about Colleen Hoover, uh, I might as well show you the other books that I got that are Colleen Hoover. So the first one that I have is Maybe Someday, and I really, really liked this one. This one was about a girl named Sydney, who on her 22nd, 21st, 22nd, I think, 22nd birthday, she finds out that her boyfriend and her best friend are hooking up. So her life is like changed dramatically and she obviously cannot trust either of them anymore and she it's just devastating and so then she like has no idea what to do and then she is kind of recruited <laughs> i guess is the word by this girl who lives with this guy named ridge so ridge is this mysterious guitar playing guy from across her apartment who was always on his porch playing the guitar and she was always singing along and loved when he was out there, you know. Ooh. 
sparks already fly in. Um, and so when he noticed, he realizes what is happening, he tells his roommate to go get her and bring her up here so that he can help her. So then they end up living together and since they're both into music, they kind of do some music stuff together and it's just really interesting and there's stuff you find out about Ridge that you don't know in the beginning at all and it's really, really, like I said, interesting. And there's two other books to this series. It's like, there's a novella and then there's a second book, which I gotta pick up. But yeah, this is a really good book and I also recommend this one. And this book um has two different point of views for each chapter, Ridge's and Sydney's. And I think in Confess, you get Auburn and Owen's point of view. Yeah, you do. So, that's interesting. And then the last Colleen Hoover book is actually one I haven't yet read yet. It is November 9, and this one is about a girl named Fallon who meets a guy named Ben, an aspiring novelist, and the day of her scheduled cross-country move. Their untimely attraction leads them to spend Fallon's last day in L.A. together, and her eventual life becomes the creative inspiration Ben has always sought for his novel. Over time, and amidst the various relationships and tribulations of their own separate lives, they continue to meet on the same day every year. Until one day, Fallon becomes unsure if Ben has been telling her the truth or fabricating a perfect reality for the sake of the ultimate plot twist. Can Ben's relationship with Fallon and simultaneously his novel be considered a love story if it ends it with in heartbreak? That's what it says on the back. Which I guess I could have done for this book. But I didn't do it, so. Oh well. So that's November 9. You can guess the date that they meet on. But yeah, I'm really excited to read this book too. And her books are just so beautiful. And I like that I have them all in paper paperback because it like makes them go together. But like, they're so pretty. Anyways, I'm really excited about that book. So the next two books I have, I all got from my neighbor. If you didn't see my last haul, I said that my neighbor kind of has like these boxes in her bo boxes in her garage just full of books for us kids in the neighborhood. So I picked up some. There wasn't a ton um, for my age, not like the ones I own, but I did find some interesting ones. So I found The House on the Cliff by Franklin W. Dixon, which is about these two kids whose dad goes missing and he's like a detective. So they try to take in his detective and their detective instincts and what they've learned from their father to try and find him and amongst this they knew that there was some criminal or something out there so that kind of flickered a light bulb in their heads <laughs> anyways yeah so this book is just a really short book just about them trying to find their father it is part of the hardy boys it's the hardy boys series and then i have another book it's called the san francisco earthquake and it's about a earthquake in San Francisco. That's all I know. I just thought it was inter looked interesting and picked it up. The next two books are my most recent books that I've picked up. This book is called An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green. This book is about a girl named April May. And her and her friend are kind of making like a little video movie type thing that's going to go viral. Uh, about these carls, these things that are just appearing everywhere worldwide. They don't know what it is, what it's doing there, who put it there, you know. But their videos that they're doing, they kind of, it's like a docu-series type of thing on YouTube, is going really famous. They're becoming super famous everywhere, and they're going on the news and everything. And it's just basically about these two young adults just having fun and trying to figure out this mystery for everyone else. So it's kind of like a mystery, but also realistic fiction about these kids making a video. And it's actually really interesting, and it's kind of perfect for me. I love those things. And it's the brother of the other famous author, 
John Green. So, you know it's going to be good. I mean, if they're brothers, they do everything together. They got to have the same mind. They got to have the same writing style, you know? Or at least similar. I don't want to say they're the same, but similar. I suggest you pick it up. I actually haven't finished it yet, but I'm like 96 pages in. And then I stopped reading so that I could focus on my next book that I'm going to share with you that I'm reading for school. Can't wait to finish this and know what happens. And then pick up the second book because it's a series. Or at least a duology. I don't know if there's going to be a third book. But. The last book that I have for you guys is a book that I'm reading now. And it's for school. It's called Educated by Tara Westover. This book is about a girl named Tara whose father is very anti the government. So she and her siblings never went to school. Um, the earliest her oldest brother went to school was college. Basically, she is just telling her story about her crazy family, crazy father, and just her story of an uneducated kid who doesn't go to school until she's 17. So far, it's really interesting, and I'm about, let me check, I am 128 pages in. It's really good right now. So much is happening that you don't, I feel like you wouldn't expect, um, which I like. I don't know. I just like that it's a real story and there's just so much going on and it just shows how real life and how real and chaotic life can be. Um, and for her, it's very chaotic, very real and very touching. And I just really like this story and I don't normally love memoirs. Like, I like them for school and stuff, but I don't usually love them. And right now, I'm loving this book. So I'm really glad I picked this up for school and started reading it. So that is all of the books in my haul for the books that I've gotten since April. And it's now October. So it's not a lot, because I don't get a lot of books a lot, but this is what I've gotten. Gotta get that thumbnail, you know. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe down below and hit the post notification so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. I upload every single Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Also, make sure to comment down below any book that you've recently bought or read. Um, I'd love to know, so comment down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thanks for watching.